guys and welcome back. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today I'm going to be talking about my high heel shoe collection. Now I have done this before. If you want to see the original shoe collection video I'll link it below. I'm not going to be talking about any of the same shoes in this video. I'm just going to be updating you with the shoes that I have bought since I made that video which was I think almost two years ago now. So I'm going to start off with this pair. These are from Zara and I actually picked these up I think last spring in sale and I really really like them because they have just a very kind of interesting different um, kind of angle to them as you can see at the front they have this um, V shape which I think was stolen from Christian Louboutin um, I think he did something similar to that and they are a peep toe again the toe is very kind of square in shape they are very high and they're quite hard to walk in so I don't wear them too much because um, I'm not a pro high heel walker but I do really really like these and I've definitely worn them a few times I think I got them for about £20 so I definitely have got some good use out of those the next ones are from Reese and I was lusting after these for about three or four months before I bought them I ended up buying them again in the sale because I couldn't bring myself to part with I think they were originally maybe around £200 and I got them in sale for maybe £80. Um, they are rose gold and they look like this. They are beautiful but quite honestly they are very very uncomfortable. I wore these when I was on Project Runway All Stars um, when I walked the runway and they were fine for a while but we had to stand, when we were filming that, we had to stand for three hours on the runway whilst the judges were making their comments because I was second to last um, and all the other people got to sit down after they were gone um, except for me and Carly who had to stand in heels and it was painful. My feet were like bleeding by the end of it. But I think for normal wear, if you're not standing for three hours, if you're just going out for dinner or something, they are super, super beautiful. Quite intricate as well and I definitely don't have anything else like these. Um, I think they're really lovely. Next up are these which are from ASOS and these were quite controversial. I actually posted a picture on Instagram and a lot of people were like I love your shoes or I hate your shoes, what are those horrible shoes? Um, they're from ASOS, they were not too expensive but they have this um, like skinny black band across the front and then they have like the clear plastic band around the middle and then just an ankle strap. They're very high, they're not very comfy but I didn't want to splurge on an expensive pair of this type of shoe because they're always uncomfortable. With a little skinny strap at the front, they are literally killers. So you, they're like out to dinner shoes. You cannot stand or walk in them for a really long time unless you have the foot strength of an Amazonian, I guess. And like I said, I wore these for Beautycon and a couple of times after that and I think they're quite fun for the summertime. Next up are a similar pair from Primark which have the gold front and then the little ankle strap. These are a little bit more um, dainty and I really like them. I've only worn them once but I do like them. Again, the small strap at the front means they're not super, super comfy uh, but they're not too high so they're all right and I like these a lot. Another pair, these aren't strictly high heels, but I've worn these a lot this summer, are these ones from Next. And these, I was so unsure about the style for a really long time with a little block heel and the strap across the front. Um, but I've actually worn these a lot and I really like them because they're the great alternative of you want to look a little bit taller and a little bit more dressed up, but you don't want to wear heels because you're going to be on your feet all day. I think they're around £30. So pretty standard for the high street and yeah, I like them a lot, they look like this. They come in quite a lot of different colours as well, but to be honest, some of the other ones, because they're not real leather, they're like fake suede, um, some of the lighter coloured ones look a little bit cheap, um, whereas these ones you can't really tell that they're not real suede, so I like those a lot. Next up I have a couple of pairs from Zara. Um, the first one are these, which are kind of like a sky blue court shoe. I really really like these. I haven't worn them too much because they are a lot smaller. They're the right size, I'm a 38 or a 5. Um, but these are actually really small and I tried them on in a bit of a hurry in the shop. I didn't have much time. Um, and then when I got them home and actually like properly wore them, you realise that they're more like a four and a half, so they are quite tight on the feet. Um, but yeah, I think they're really cute and I love the colour as well. They're just quite an unusual colour. It's not like um, 
a lot of the blues you see. It's almost like a cloudy sky kind of blue. Anyway, like those. Again, another one from Zara are these strappy numbers. These are a bit more comfortable actually because they've got a little bit of a platform um, and they have like the mesh like cross over front and then the ankle strap. These are really nice around Christmas time because they are that kind of mulberry suede colour. Next up is a pair from LK Bennett which look like this. These are like my princess shoes. I got these in Vista Village on sale for about £50 reduced from 200 and something. They are like perfect Christmas winter party shoes. And I actually bought them with my best friend Becky um, and we bought the same pair and both of us uh, do complain about how uncomfortable they are um, because they are quite solid for some reason, I don't know why, but they are really, really pretty and they're just like princessy, like girly, girly shoes. And then I have one other pair from Forever 21 actually, which I bought when I was in LA, I think last October, so almost a year ago. I really, really fell in love with these instantly. Um, I feel like they're kind of inspired by um, the Valentino rock studs, that kind of look with the not so high heel. Obviously they look nothing like them, but I really like these a lot. They have the black heel um, and then they have the Peyton toe bit here, which is really good because they don't get dirty. And then they have the nude um, fake suede with the rose gold studs. And they look really nice on as well because the nude is a similar colour to my skin tone. It kind of elongates your legs even though you're not wearing that high a heel. Um, and they were super cheap as well. I think they were like $25, $30 or something like that. So I like these a lot. They're definitely my favourite kind of bargain shoe. So my last two pairs are a bit special and that is because they are my wedding shoes. They're still in their boxes because obviously... Um, they are quite special and I wanted to keep them super fresh and um, looked after. And they are both from a brand called Freya Rose. I actually did a video with Freya. I don't know if you guys watched my um, wedding channel at the time, you might have seen it. But I did a video with Freya at the time and she was super lovely and actually gave me um, two pairs of shoes for my wedding day. So I'm going to show you them. The first ones are the ones that I wore for the ceremony and they're super, super traditional. They are um, ivory satin and I was kind of, I wasn't that keen to have satin. I'm not a massive fan of satin as a material anyway, but I really, really fell in love with the shape of these. I think they're just so ladylike um, and perfect. And they have a tiny platform, so they're a little bit more comfortable than having no platform at all. Um, and yeah, so these are the ones that I wore down the aisle and to our wedding breakfast, <laughs> if you want to use the proper term. Um, and yeah, I really, really loved them. Having two pairs of shoes for your wedding, it does actually seem slightly excessive, but I would definitely recommend it, even if they're not expensive or if the second pair aren't even new, I would recommend having a stand-up pair um, ready because you're on your feet for most of the day, so they do get quite uncomfortable. I was so, so happy to change into my second pair, even though they're not any like lower, I just wanted a change and your feet wanted a change. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend it if you are getting married, thinking about having two pairs. Um, I mean, you can get two new pairs if you want, but even just having some backup ones there, because your feet will hurt by the end of the day. Anyway, my second pair of wedding shoes were a little bit different from the first ones, and they looked like this. Um, they are total princess shoes, and to be honest, this, um, style, not this specific style, but this bedrazzled, um, like design was the reason why I fell in love with Freya's shoes because she actually does like a fully embellished shoe that has um, the whole shoe is like a sling back encrusted with diamantes and pearls and I tried those on but they were so difficult to balance in because they had no real support around my foot so I ended up going for these ones which are kind of like a vintage inspired style like they cross over at the front and then they have the little peep toe and they're definitely not something I would normally go for um, in design, but I actually love them. I think they're so pretty. I haven't worn these since my wedding, but it's actually our wedding anniversary this weekend and we're having a party. So I think I'm gonna wear these. Um, it's not a super smart party. I'll probably just be wearing a little dress or something, but 
um, yeah, I think I'm gonna wear these as a little um, anniversary kind of celebration to myself that it's been a year since we got married. Um, and that is it for my last pair of high heels. Let me know in the comment section below which were your favorites. And you may have noticed I have pink hair. Um, I have been experimenting with my hair a little bit over the past few months in terms of color. Again, as you may have noticed, it was pink and purple for a while. This hopefully is gonna be a little bit um, more permanent. It isn't a permanent dye, it's only semi-permanent, but um, I think I'm gonna keep it for a little bit longer, so I really hope you guys like it. Um, it's kind of a bit of a change for me. I've pretty much always been blonde with the occasional like foray into dip dye, so it was quite scary dyeing the whole thing. Everyone's comments on Instagram were absolutely amazing, so thank you. And if you want a video about it, um, and about like maintaining colour in your hair and things like that, let me know in the comment section below if that's something you would like to see, because it's something that um, I'm thinking of doing in the next couple of weeks. And yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys have an amazing weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Bye! Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul video for you all. I've done quite a lot of online shopping over the past few weeks. Um, as I always do, um, a little bit shopping addicted. Uh, so I thought I would do a haul video for you and show you what I got. I've got some beautiful.